Uh, my name is uh, Eric Skorlik. I'm uh, the team lead for the North America Consulting Series Engineer. Uh, pretty much what I would like to show today is our device control functionality that we released a couple of weeks ago. Uh, why it is really important because as nowadays a lot of leveraging our removal media and they want to control and granular control those uh, device uh, devices. But also uh, take a look and have a visibility of what's going on, what kind of files were transferred to and from those removal medias as well. So a couple of things that we can see over here as device perspectives, we can see all the devices uh, and uh, that were detected today. Uh, we can have idea of device devices by access permission, allow block, read only, and bypass. So we also have the ability to bypass for a certain period of time. Uh, we can also see users by activities. Uh, so the devices uh, that we will detect it, but also the activities, uh, read and write permissions, how much data was read, how much data was write in that from or to the removal media. And we can also see the device by manufacturer as well. So there's a lot of good stuff over here. We can start drill, drilling down a little bit more and see more information related to those devices as well. In the policy perspective, uh, we're really straightforward in creating policy. So we do have a, a default policy where we call zero trust, pretty much like anything that does not match any of the rules that we have over here, we'll go to the default policy. And a good thing, we are able also to have end user notification. So that end user notification, if the policy changes, we will have a notification and that notification is fully customizable as well. Uh, so one of the things over here in the policies, I have a couple of policies, my default policies to block. So if it does not match any of my rules that I have available over here, uh, the policy will get uh, will block uh, the removal media. So I have a couple of uh, USB uh, devices removal medias where I create policies. So I have one uh, removal media where I'm allowed access permission uh, to our users, serial number. Uh, so I can create policies based on serial number, based on a VID or PID. And I also apply this policy only to my Mac OS. So I have a MacBook Air here, a physical Mac, Mac, MacBook Air, where I have this device uh, plugged in and will show the user and user experience. I have a different device where the where this device I only have read only permissions. And then I have uh, a third device where I have uh, allow permissions uh, for that device. So it show the user and user experience. So pretty much if I change any of the policy here, I disable one policy or enable one policy, we'll, we'll need to deploy this policy. And it was straight, really straightforward how we deploy these policies. We'll see pending changes over here, deploy changes. Once I do that, the policy will change. So showing a little bit more the end user uh, experience from the, for the Mac OS over here, uh, I can see my device over here. Uh, so if I click over here about, I can see a device that was detected. I'm actually going to unplug this device and plug it again. So plug, plug it again. So no device, uh, we can see device detected. Uh, I can see already the device over here. So that device was detected. I can see the end user experience over here. So if I go back here in the UI, I have a policy here where I'm allowing uh, the, a cruiser dial USB for my Mac OS. Uh, so I can see here uh, the policy read only. I can change the policy to block permissions or allow. If I do change that, I will see uh, the policy changing. I can deploy the changes. Uh, once I deploy those changes, so I'm deploying the changes right now, my policy will change on the user experience. So if I go to my, uh, my Mac OS over here, I can see the policy has already changed. I have that notification popping up to the user and I can see here the device is blocked. So the policy that I had allowed before now is blocked uh, for this device. Uh, so that's the user experience that I we can see uh, related to what is uh, the notifications. I will also now start to show a little bit more in the Windows of user experience as well. So let me go back here to the UI uh, and I will just, uh, so what I, I will show right now uh, is the end user experience in the Windows uh, OS. Uh, so pretty much I have a policy here that I'm allowing uh, the user uh, permissions, allow permissions. Uh, I'm doing that policy based on how you applying to our users, uh, VID and serial numbers, our endpoints, and I also have uh, automatic uh, notification. I'm using just the default, but we could definitely customize, uh, customize and change also the dismiss notification timeout as well. So in here, over here, I have a Windows machine. 
which I have uh, the endpoint running. Uh, I can see the device over here. So I'm getting actually block on the policy because that policy is actually disabled. So it's going through the default policy, which I show, I show back over there. Uh, so if I go back, I will record it because it should not change to the screen. Uh, so let me, I will do, do it again. Uh, so I have a policy over here. Uh, let me redo it again. So I have a policy over here, which I'm going to show the end user experience for the Windows. This policy is disabled, uh, but I have a policy which I'm allowing uh, access permission for this remove, specific removal media with the VID 4F4 uh, and this serial number. I'm applying to all endpoints, all users as well. So if I go to, uh, to the endpoint show, I can see it's blocking because it's going through the default policy as my default policy is blocking. So if I go back in, here in edit, I can see my default policy is blocking. What I will do actually now, I will allow this policy, I will enable this policy and deploy. Uh, so deploy this policy. Once I deploy this policy, I should have the permissions change and allowing uh, that endpoint to access the removal video. So if I go to the endpoint here, uh, it would take a couple of seconds uh, to get the policy up today. I can see already permitted device detected. So I'm able to copy data uh, to and from the USB. So I'm able to go over here. I'm able to, let's create a new document over here. That's, I can copy. And I can also copy from that over here, replace. So I'm able to copy to and from uh, from the removal media. One of the things that are really interesting the uh, investigation side of things, we're able to see all the devices uh, the users as well, we can see uh, if the if the USB was plugged in and plugged as well. So I have the user fuse and over here. I can see a couple of things, go for labs, USB. So pretty much match a rule that I have for the removal media. I can have more information. It actually has uh, the, we see all the information about this USB, the VID, the PID and the device area number. But the cool thing about it here is the investigation side of things. So we can see, all the fire activities, we can see all the transferring to and from that those removal media. So if I click on one of the removal medias over here, I can check it out and see all the activity details based on the policies, but I can also see file transfer as well. So I can see all the file transfer that were uh, coming from the removal media and copying from the removal media as well. So we have the full information over here, all the files that were copied to. We can see also that in a timeline of the last 30 days as well. So I can see over here, March 8th was the day that the write, uh, it had 450 megabytes of write and 138 uh, megabytes of read. So I can see that information over here. So if I click in other uh, devices as well, uh, as well that were detected in the past, I can see the same information as well. I can do that investigation. I can also export this uh, to a file transfer. So I can see how the file transfer export this to a JSON file as well. So pretty much in the device, uh, device control, we have really nice dashboards where we can see, we can investigate, uh, we can see the devices uh, as a, high level summary overview, everything is happening, all the devices that were detected uh, in a day, uh, today, and also in the 30 days. And we can go through those uh, dashboards over here and drill down a little bit more as well. If I click on one, any of those here, I will go to the investigation side of things, where was the previous page that I showed to, to you. So that's pretty much what I have for the demo today. Thanks so much for watching this demonstration. If you'd like to have more information, you can access forcepoint.com slash DOP. You can also request a demonstration in order to have a more deep in dive of our solutions as well. Uh, again, thanks so much for watching this video. Mm -hmm.